Hey everyone, it's JoJo and I'm bringing you another Beyblade Burst Turbo video review. Today I have another Slingshock Dual Pack. This is Silver X Jormunter J4 and Leopard L4. Here's the front of the packaging. And the new Beyblade is pretty much this one right here. And I noticed that it comes with a frame. And a lot of Slingshock Beyblades don't come with frames because they don't really work well in... Um, the Rail Rush Stadium. All right, so here on the back, we got Jormunter J4. This is considered a balance type. There's the energy layer, the forge disc, and the performance tip. We got the slingshot meter, three and three, and the stats down here at the bottom. Pretty good in uh, stamina right there. It's got seven out of 10. And uh, Leopard is an attack type. There's the energy layer. It's, got, it's a right spin. And the two part forge disc, and the performance tip there's again the slingshot meter and all the stats look at those stats pretty high in attack and agility because of that performance tip right there all right so let's get this beyblade open all right and here is everything in the dual pack let's start off with silver x jormunter j4 so the hasbro jormunter is actually really good it's got really good slopes really nice for stamina too and uh the color on this is really nice i love this recolor silvery kind of reminds me of uh odax a little bit because of the silver nice sparkly bits then you can see the two-headed snake kind of like blowing out yellow flames there here on the back we got the code so go ahead and scan that the forged disc it comes with is eight and the performance tip is basically like fusion, but with a slingshot gimmick or the slingshot mode. So it's a flat tip with a little uh, spike coming out. And so to change it, you twist it this way, pull it, and then twist it again. It should lock in, if I could get it to lock in. Anyway, <laughs> I can't get it to lock in, so we'll just leave it like that for now. And all these parts we've seen before, so we could just go through this quickly. And yeah, these slopes are really nice, really tight. And there we have Silver X Jormunter. And moving on to Leopard L4. Here is the energy layer. Leopard L4, you can see some teeth down there. Like the face of a leopard there. And uh, it repeats on the other side. So the gimmick for Leopard actually works, but not very well. Uh, so what the gimmick is, if a Beyblade, uh, the opposing Beyblade hits this part, it's supposed to open up and kind of like bite down on it. But with this, the um, the layer is very sticky. Like the motion is very, it's stuck. I'd like to say it's crunchy. <laughs> but anyway, it's like it doesn't, yeah, it gets stuck like that and you have to like manually like push it down. I may just have to break it in a little bit more, but it just doesn't seem like it's as good as Takara told me, obviously, but um, uh, that's pretty, that's, I don't think that's a very good thing. It's kind of disappointing, disappointing when it's like that out of the box. But yeah, anyway, here is the code. Go ahead and scan that if you don't have it already. And I will be doing a comparison to Takara told me in a little bit here. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it just gets stuck a lot. <laughs> All right, so we got the two part forge disc. The disc is 12, which we've seen before, so I could take this out. But this is a new part here, the frame. This is lift. So you could flip this around and it'll be like two different modes. So right now, let's point it down this way. It's got like a smoother bottom, much rounded. But if you have it in this mode, it's a lot wider. It also has these three points here on the bottom. And so, I mean, this is a good way to get lift if you don't, if you can't get it through Chikara Tomi, but um, frames don't really work well in <laughs> in the Rail Rush base stadium. They just scrape a lot, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that during my uh, my test battles and test launches. But but yeah, let me demonstrate how to uh, how to uh, do this. So basically, like with any other frame, you put it in and turn, just like that. You can see it's got um, a wider bottom with three points sticking out. So this is, I think that's called down skirt. That's what everyone's calling it. And this one is called up skirt, which is the uh, better mode just because it has a smoother 
bottom better for LED. But again, it's not going to matter in the Rail Rush Bay Stadium. But it might do okay with a performance tip if it makes it taller. Uh, so the performance tip is Destroy. This is the first Slingshock Destroy performance tip uh, we've gotten. And yeah, basically just like the Destroy, looks like a jaggy tip with this free spinning uh, part right here. Kind of looks like a circular saw. And to put it into Slingshock mode, you got these two arrows on the side and these two empty spaces on that part. You align them and you pull. And now it is in slingshot mode. And this is going to be really crazy in the stadium. Can't wait to see it. But uh, again, I'm kind of scared about the uh, frame. I don't think it's going to uh, work really well in the base stadium. All right, so let's do a comparison to Takara Tomy and check out the uh, the gimmick on this one. It's a lot smoother. I could just like let it go and it's fine. It feels smoother. This one definitely has a better motion to it. And of course there's metal on the Karatomi version. But yeah, just kind of disappointing that this one is uh, such low quality and you just gotta like manually do it yourself. But yeah, let's uh, do a weight comparison. All right, so Hasbro Leopard L4, 11 grams. Takara Tomy, 19, so eight grams off. All right, and let's put this Beyblade together. I'm gonna keep it in, um, I think this is called the down skirt mode, just cause it's not gonna touch the stadium. And, ooh, those slopes are actually pretty good. All right, there we have Leopard L4 and Silver X Jormunter. Let's move on to a test spin and test battle. First, let's test launch Silver X Jormunter in normal mode. Three, two, one, let it. Nicely balanced there. And I think we all know what's gonna happen at this from this point on. Uh, let's switch it over to slingshot mode. Three, two, one, let it. Moving on to Leopard L4. Let's try it out in uh, normal mode first. And uh, I see. I want to see how uh, the frame is in the uh, Rail Rush Stadium. Three, two, one, let it. Yeah, definitely some scrapage there. Let's do it one more time. speed cradle for, for some reason and not into the rails. All right, so let's switch it to slingshot mode. See if it'll help it out a little bit. No, that's just awful. <laughs> so it went to the rails more, but it just, you just hear that scraping and it just loses stamina. Yeah, take a, take a look at that. It's just not good at all. But anyway, let's do a test battle between Silver X Jormunter and Leopard. Keeping both of them in slingshot mode. Three, two, one, let it. Yeah, just lost that stamina. Three, two, one, let it. Yeah, Jormunter barely touched Leopard. It just lost stamina from scraping against the rails. All right, so I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. Um, I don't like that, you know, it comes with a frame, but at the same time I do because Turn is actually a really good frame. 
If you can't get turn via Takara Tomy, this is a good way to get it. To get it. Plus, I kind of like the um, the new uh, destroy slingshot performance tip. It's really aggressive. It, it seems pretty fun. I think again, you just have to play with Leopard L4 without the um, the frame in this stadium. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll see you guys soon with more Beyblade Burst.